name's Melody and I'm an animal science instructor with 4-H Capital. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your very own pair of binoculars. So I've got these binoculars right here. These are the ones I usually use to go outside and bird watch, but I know not everybody has these types of binoculars. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your very own pair at home with materials you should already have. Okay guys, so first I want to give you a little background information on bird watching, which is what I hope you use these binoculars for. So bird watching is a hobby that anybody can do with their whole family. Even if you don't have a backyard, you can still go out, either if you have a balcony in your apartment or even just opening the window. And you can look outside with your binoculars and find certain birds. Bird watching is super important in conservation for birds because it gives us the amount of birds that live in those areas and making sure that their numbers are high. So bird watching is very important. You can take it as a hobby or you can take it even further when you get older and use it as a career. So that being said, let's get to building those binoculars. All right guys, so first you're gonna need two empty toilet paper rolls. I've got these two right here. You can also cut in half one empty paper towel roll. Cut it straight in half and make sure they're even. You will also need some tape. I've got this nice gold washi tape right here, but it doesn't have to be this fancy. You can even use some regular scotch tape. I've got this cute little flamingo dispenser I thought I'd share. You will need some scissors as well. You can also use attachments with this paper clip. You will need two of them, but it is another simple way to attach if you do not have tape at home. And then lastly, you will need some sort of string. I have this yellow yarn. You can use shoelace, rope, whatever you'd like. First things first, you want to align your toilet paper rolls. So you will align these guys when they're aligned. You will then take your tape and you will wrap that tape around both ends. I'm going to start with this end. Make sure your tape sticks down pretty well. Sometimes it has issues. So take as much time as you need to, to properly secure. Once you get that attached, you can start on the next side doing the same exact thing. If you do not have tape, you can use things such as rope or shoelace or whatever you're going to use as your yarn for this activity. I will show you how to attach it with a paper clip. You will slide the paper clip in between both sides. You'll need another one for the other end, but you'll do that and that'll be it. You may also put a piece of tape over that if you want a more sturdy look. Once you have secured with tape or whatever other method on each side, you will need to make the holes for your string. I'm choosing this side, choose whichever side you like. You will take your scissors, squeeze that paper tube in, and cut an incision. With that cut, you will then stick the whole scissor tip through, and you will move it around a little bit to make a bigger hole. You will do the same thing on the other side. I will show you real quickly. Next, you're gonna wanna measure out enough length of string so that your student at home can wear this as a necklace. They will wear the binoculars around their neck so that they are accessible the whole time they are bird watching. So that's the perfect length right there. Next, we are going to use the tape and you're going to tape it around the ends of your string. This will give it a sort of a shoelace-like ability, meaning that the ends will go in through the holes in the toilet paper tubes easily. If you don't have tape at home, it's no big deal. It might just be a little more difficult to get that yarn through, but you can always use your imagination and find a perfect way to do it without tape. So once you thread it through, you will tie it in a double knot. If your student is comfortable tying knots, you may let them do it. But otherwise, just a simple double knot will do. Once you finish with that side, you guessed it, you'll do the same thing on the other side. I will run through that quickly for you. Mm -hmm. 
Once you are finished tying that string, you have a pair of binoculars. Pretty easy to make. If you'd like to, you can keep those paper clips on each side or you can take them out. But next is the decorating part. This is the most exciting part besides bird watching. I will be decorating off screen, but decorate whichever way you choose. So they are your binoculars to decorate. So I have decorated them with flowers and birds. The birds are on one side, the flowers on the other side. Birds come in all different colors, as I'd like to reiterate. And then the flowers are for spring. So next we get to go bird watch. All right guys, now that we've got our binoculars, let's see what we can find. Oh, I hear something over there. Look, it's a Northern Cardinal. This is a male northern cardinal because he is a bright red color. Females are usually a little more brown, but they still will have that orange beak, just like this male. They get that red color from the berries they eat. They also eat seeds. It looks like he's eating some seeds right now. What a great find that was. Let's see if we can find some more birds. Wait, do you guys hear something over there? Let's take a look. A house sparrow. House sparrows are a very common songbird and they're seen almost anywhere. You probably see them year round. These guys like to eat seeds as well and they'll usually be seen at a bird feeder outside. They really like eating the food we give them. But don't get too close to them or they'll fly away. Guys, how awesome is today? There's so many birds out. But you know what? Sometimes birds aren't in trees. Sometimes they're on the ground. Let's go up the ground and see what we can I thought I heard a mockingbird. Mockingbirds get their name because they like to mock the songs of different birds. Even though they are mocking them, they're not quite perfect, so usually they don't sound like that specific bird. Mockingbirds love to eat bugs. They're often seen dive bombing just to get the perfect meal. These guys are very fearless. I hope you guys enjoyed bird watching with me. Um, you can share the pictures of your binoculars in the comments below. We would greatly appreciate it. But first, I would like to go over a few reflection questions. First, tell me what kind of birds you guys saw, what colors they were, what shapes, and where you found them. Also, look up information about migration. Migration is something that many birds do in the spring, and it's awesome to learn more about the birds you see outside. My third reflection question is, what was your favorite bird you saw? All the birds around this world are beautiful, but please tell me your favorite bird. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope to see you next time. Bye.